Welcome to the latest installment of a series that we like to call That Leslie Sound. In this series, we're going to attempt to cover every Leslie pedal on the used in the new market. If you want to know more about what pedals are in the series, click on the card above to watch the series opener. And if you want to know what That Leslie Sound is, click on the card that will take you to a YouTube playlist that you'll hear many famous songs that use That Leslie Sound. Welcome to the series. <laughs> Today, that Leslie sound is being made by the Hammond Leslie G, and the beard is going to let you know what it sounds like. So that was the Hammond Leslie G, a glorious stereo. So if you weren't listening to it with he earphones on or headbuds on or whatever, whichever you prefer, whichever you prefer, <laughs> one of each is the way we like to go. You might want to do that. Uh, interesting story behind this pedal. First of all, we got to start off with a big shout out and a thank you to Brian from BB Made Guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a link to his YouTube channel below in the description. There's also a link to his website. Brian is a fellow YouTuber who's been watching the Leslie series. Uh, I think at one point we mentioned we don't, one of the things that we're missing is the Hammond pedal. And he said, hey, I have one. You know, I'd be happy to send it to you. And he did. So thanks a lot, Brian. We really appreciate it. Um, check out his channel for some cool stuff on him putting some guitars on the bench and going through them. Some amps, some pedals, some mods. Just in general, some cool stuff. Yeah. So, and check out his website too, because he builds some beautiful guitars on there. All right. Thank you again. Now, the Leslie G. Another interesting story because this is made by Hammond. It's the only pedal that I think we've done, you were pointing out, different. that actually says that Leslie on it. Different font, just for the record. Uh, so there's a, there's a really interesting story between the Leslie company, the Hammond Organ Company, and the Leslie company. Leslie, the guy, the guy that invented the Leslie, his last name was Leslie, uh, he wanted to take a Hammond organ and make it sound more like a pipe organ. So as he's playing it in his, I guess in his house or whatever, he realizes, oh, this doesn't move air like the pipes do. How can we do that? And he came up with this design. The interesting story is that Hammond didn't like what he did. They were not, they were not pleased, right? They were not the, so, so much so that they said, hey, if you're selling Hammonds in your showroom, you can't sell Leslie speakers, which is just unbelievable to right. me today because when you think of a ham and organ you automatically think it's like pj and the beard peanut butter jelly right you automatically think there has to be a leslie associated with it so that's really interesting um i think fender bought out leslie at some point and then at some point it must have switched because it's owned by hammond now and so we'll get back to the fender connection here in a little bit as we talk about the features of the pedals right. anything else to add to that no, I just thought it was an interesting story um, how that things that two different ideas, two different products, and at the end of the day, they were a marriage made in heaven. Right. But people had different ideas, and creative people did not have ideas of what their things should sound like, but cooler heads prevailed, and we got this glorious right. Leslie pedal. And if you want to see one of the really early guys, go check out uh, Jimmy Smith. Um, there's an album called Dot Com Blues that I'm real familiar with that I really like, but go check out Jimmy Smith. 
he's the guy that made that hand and organ and the Leslie really work together. So, features. Yes. Input, stereo outs, can run at mono. Mm -hmm. You have an effect button that turns it on and off, surprisingly. <laughs> uh, you have a speed button, which will take you from the fast speed to the slow speed. Kind of standard fare there. Uh, one of the things we've been talking about throughout the series, all these pedals, we love them all, I think, because they all have their own like little unique thing. Right. So a lot of times people are like, well, what's the best one? Well, I don't know. Right. It depends on what you want to do. Uh, this has some... Usually the one we're playing at the top. Right, yes. <laughs> so right now... This is it. <laughs> right. But it won't be in 10 minutes. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, they're all really mm -hmm. they're all really nice. They all sound... Most of them sound really good. Um, features. What sets this one apart? Top left knob is called the red line. That is your fast speed. So that will make your horn and your rotor spin faster. Uh, I think when you click to the slow speed, that's kind of a set value. And we've seen that in some other pedals where the slow is set and you can adjust the fast a little bit. All right. Come down to rise and fall. That's your ramp speed. So when you kick the slow, how long it takes to get the slow. When you click the fast, how long it takes to get the fast. Jump all the way to the right. We have a dry and a wet. And these two knobs are really interesting. I've never, I don't think we've seen this on any other. I don't think so. Uh, Leslie pedal the dry is tip is really just the volume of your dry signal like if you turn the wet all the way off and the dry all the way up it sounds like you're playing with the pedal off mm -hmm. um, if you turn the wet all the way off and the wet all the way up dry all the way up off and the wet all the way up it's all Leslie it's all effect and a volume drop so then you have these two that you can kind of blend together so you can blend your dry underneath and if you think about it a lot of the amps especially like the uh, Leslie 16 or Leslie 18 would have had a lot of times a dry amp running with them. Right. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Um, that kind of reminds me a little bit of the blend lob on the micro vibes. Mm -hmm. the, no, the micro, uh, micro vibe. The micro vents. Yes. Remember he had that, they had that blend knob where you right. can kind of go between. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and then the last feature, so that we think is kind of really interesting to this pedal. And then the last feature is you have multiple simulations. So they've simulated the 122, which is like the most popular, seems to be the most popular one that people are putting into a pedal format uh, that they're simulating. Uh, Leslie would call the 147 the Rock Leslie. So they're simulating that one. And then the 8, did this say I think it's 18V, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then the 18V. So back to the Fender story. Fender buys Leslie. Uh, Leslie's making a Leslie 16 and a Leslie 18. With one's a 10 inch, one's a 12 inch speaker. It's just a rotating drum. There's no. There's no horns on it. Right. Um, and they're making that for guitar. Interesting way that that hooks up with this like crossover thing. So you're taking the mids. Mids are scooped out. Like you're taking the over. highs and the lows out and putting them in the Leslie, or you're taking the mids and putting in the Leslie, one or the other. Uh, but we'll get to that because we have one, and we're going to do an episode on it at some point. Trust me, it's right there. Um, so they're taking that. So that so we have two Leslies that would have rotating horns on it and one Leslie that doesn't. And then finally, the preset knob, where if we turn it to preset, we have it all set up the way we want it to be. Actually, we have it all set up the way we want it to be. And then we hold both of these buttons down for three seconds. It will save that setting to preset. So then when you go to preset, you always have that available. And we're not going to touch it because BB Made has his in there. And I think David Gilmore dialed it up for him. It's like a David right. Gilmore. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. But we don't want to mess with this preset. <laughs> just in case he's, yeah, just in case, case David, David Gilmore, Gilmore did yeah, set it up right. for him, yeah. we're going to leave it alone. You touched the preset? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be months before David's back in town, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Next time so, it comes over. That's where we're at. Yep. So, mono riff, the Leslie riff, we're using all the all of them on a 122. We'll let you play through it a couple times clean. I'll kick on and kick hit on and fast, and then we'll switch it to slow. Uh, as per usual, uh, Super O Hampton through a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, a little reverb, neck pickup, and here we go. Thank you. 
So, I think we start with the red line. Mm-hmm. And let's just look at... I'm going to turn it on the slowest fast, and we'll let you play. And we'll maybe go slow as fast, kind of middle of the road, and then all the way up so people can see the sweep of that. Now, remember, typically in these videos, we show you the slow and the fast, but there's no slow that's set. So, right. we're just going to stay on the fast. Yeah, you can really hear that Doppler effect there at the end. We've talked about these pedals before. Sometimes that uh, the rate dimed all the way out is unusable, and uh, I, mm -hmm. I call it the mothership, and you called it something really cool uh, before. Yeah, but, almost that bit crusher yeah. sound, right? That uh, usable, maybe not one you use all the time, but like it's 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 usable. Right, it's pretty dramatic. So let's do rise and fall right now. Since we were moving that around, I turned it all the way down. Um, and you will notice on this, I'm not taking Brian's pedal apart, that sometimes the white dots are not matching up perfectly. So we we're mentioned he likes to mod things, and perhaps right. this has been pulled, maybe hit you know, yeah. knobs off at some point. Right. We're gonna turn that all the way down. Let Pat play fast. I'll hit it to slow, so you can see how fast it goes to slow speed. Then I'm gonna turn it all the way up. Let him play on slow for a little bit, and then I'll hit it back to fast so we can see how long it takes so you just get the extremes mm -hmm. and then if the if the slow is too slow for you and the fast is too fast for you then there's a perfect setting somewhere in the middle it's beautiful i'm gonna play something different for a change so that we <laughs> That slow sounds really good. It does. I, I, I noted that in my head. You must have been reading my mind because as we've gone through this series, I like the really fast. I've always liked the fast, but there's more of these slow ones that are really growing on me. Right. That slow sounds really I like good. the fast because I like tremolo, but I, now I like the slow because I like chorus. Like it's, it's such an interesting blend of things in a Leslie pedal. Mm -hmm. So dry and wet, let's turn those both all the way down. And I'm just going to sweep, as he plays, I'll sweep the dry all the way up, turn it back down, sweep the wet all the way up, turn it back down, and then try and land somewhere where we kind of like it, mixing the two together so you can get an idea of what's going on. Okay. Turn it up, yeah. Thank you. 
I think the, the was the dry down a little bit. Dry down a little bit. The dry was slightly on the other side of noon, maybe. Let's see. Uh... Yeah, it's slightly on the other side of noon. It's probably <laughs> about noon, <laughs> right? right? On this pedal. Right. I think it's the Central Standard Time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Something's. <laughs> All right, so and then the last thing to look at would be the three different models. Yeah. So even though we've been hearing the 122 the whole time, I right. think for reference sake, I'll let you play through whatever you're playing through like yep. once, switch it to slow, mm -hmm. switch it back to fast and turn it to 147, give you a through yep. once, switch it to slow, to the 18, back on fast, switch it to slow. And I'll go back to the standard Leslie uh, thing we've been playing. <laughs> Notice the two lights blinking in unison now mm -hmm. because there's not a difference between the rotor. And typically, one would represent the rotor, one would represent the horns, and now, since there's just one, right? I thought that was a nice little touch by Leslie there. Or by Hammond. Yes. By Hammond Organ Company. <laughs> yeah, interesting, different characteristics. Um, I still think I land to the 122, but definitely the 147 and the 18 had their own sound. I felt like the 147 maybe more mid rangey. Uh, and and then the the eighteen maybe a little more low end response, but definitely had different characteristics. And and, and again, we're not going to twist every knob on every one, but you might be able to turn it to one forty seven and turn the turn the blend slightly differently. And right. you, it's a really customizable pedal, which is what you were trying to say earlier about these two, uh, especially. Right. So that's you know when we talk about the unique features of each one, I think this pedal kind of lands you gets that that unique. Wet and dry blend. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, great pedal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sounds great. Again, thank you, Amy Made Brian, for sending that out to us because we really, uh, really dig it. So with that, I think, um, are we at that point? I think we are. We're at that point. So new content every, typically every Wednesday and Saturday at noon, some bonus content here and there. Uh, the Leslie series is, is wrapping up. As far as the filming. <laughs> right. We have two more pedals to film out of the two more pedals, maybe four or five episodes of stuff yet. Two more pedals, maybe three or four episodes of something else. But Leslie Sound Series is wrapping up and we're getting a whole bunch of pedals in for the next series, which, and there's some amazing stuff coming. Let me just tell you, there's some just downright amazing stuff coming in. Yeah. Uh, so for the next series coming up. Uh, just interviewed for Brian. Just interviewed Dave Barber for yeah. uh, Barber Electronics. So if you haven't seen that, check out the interview series. Uh, but with that, please subscribe. Click the like button. Hit the notification button so you know when all that great stuff is coming out. Please swing by uh, Instagram and Facebook if you want to get like some previews on what's coming because we've been posting some pictures and some updates about things that are happening or about to happen there. And I think, amazingly enough, with that. I'm PJ on behalf of the beard, reminding you no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. What do you think this would sound like with a little drive? <laughs>
ships here. <laughs>